Welcome back for the first time in years. Bounty Killer heads into summer with current hit tunes. Celebrating a birthday this week, the warlord is on a roll, it appears. And as promised the last time he was right here on stage, we'll introduce the newest members of the alliance to us. Bounty Killer, right now, on stage. Killer, let in love, sir. Respect, respect, respect. So what accounts for this? Hit making role that you're on in recent time, killer. Well, I guess I, I found back my rhythm. I guess I lost it for a bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's just really a lot of ups and downs and obstacles that I've been through, you know. So I guess the energy I just put it in music, and that's how I express myself and my anger, and my hurt, and my pain. So mm -hmm. I guess I'm just putting the right energy back in the music because I guess I was a little bit too idle, you know. But uh, is it coming from within you, or or is it <coughs> um, factors in the environment, things that have uh, you were saying, things that were yeah, happening to you? Yeah, things in the you. environment and from me as well. Yes, yeah. impacted the the, the 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 whole thing. But to what extent it was you who went inside yourself and, and started finding that that the good old killer? And it's mostly because of the, this generation; mm -hmm. they're not really putting in all that's expected so it's like the veterans have to do all they can do to keep it on the level as we were saying the music going hip hop and all them things so yes it's like we that have that experience and that touch mm -hmm. and that chemistry we need to go put more into it that's why i say we, we draw for the sham and the dave kelly for bring back that 90s feel you know okay uh, and both us doing a great job by keeping that feeler dance all beats We've counted about 12 tunes that you've dropped since the start of Yeah. <laughs> um, w w which are the ones blazing right now? Oh, well, well definitely, most definitely the NEC one that went number one. Mm -hmm. And we have Get Girl Every Day. And the Sex Appeal, you have Wine for the General. Mm -hmm. And you have a couple more. I don't even two check the songs them that we have buzzing in the street. It's just recording and putting out music. I, I, how does this, this feel right now, Killer? Because it's been a long time you haven't had this kind of buzz out there. Everywhere you turn right now, Killer. Well, I'm, I'm kind of immune to the feeling of being hot. I don't even remember what it is like to feel hot. Because <laughs> I've been hot for so many years. I'm not really exaggerating. Yeah. You understand? I don't mean what to you. No, because the last time I told you, I don't even need a hit song because I'm a hit man. Yes, you did And I end up with a number one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That yeah, gets you. So that I'm trying gets to realize. I, I end up with a number one song. I don't even know how the hell that happened because yes. normally I don't get number ones. You understand? Yes. Even the biggest songs that I've done, anytime never went number one. Mm -hmm. Look into my eye, never went number one. Mm -hmm. Poor people fed up, never went number one. So I'm so frightened to see any went number one. But I still give thanks for it still. But it must feel good to be it, going No, it feels summer. good. No, it definitely feels good to see the people still reacting a certain yeah. way and gravitating to your music after nearly 20 years. But, but I don't really know how it is to feel hot. Yes. I'm just always excited to see people having fun with my music. And each time I go on a stage, is like my last performance. That's how I always think. So I have to make that last performance memorable. And each time we go on the stage, it's like we are a young act talent show i'm nobody that's how i attack the audience like i have to win them soul mm -hmm. so we don't play around when you go on the stage it's an expo or you have to make a great presentation <laughs> it's an expo yeah it's an expo yeah okay all right See, but you're working with many different producers yeah who are some of them well mainly i'm working with war 21 and pd and bodos and we're hoping to work with steve because we only make one track with steve and our two so far and Okay. He has a good chemistry and we know he, he, he can do it. Okay. And there's a collab with Buster Rhymes? Oh, it's actually a remix. A remix? Yeah, it was Summertime that came out last year. Okay. But, but that song kept playing right through the whole summer, through the winter, and come right over back to the summer. So we decided that we're going to get a remix. And the feel of the beat, it was really a reminiscence of Buster Rhyme. Same. So we just get Buster Rhyme and it did 8 bar on it. So it's me, me Patex, and Buster Rhyme. It's a remix. And speaking time. of comeback, um, Shabarax is back. The legend. The legend. The boss. Come into that. The emperor. No, we feel good to know that Shabarang is holding that vibes and it, it sounds great. It, it, nothing to change. It does sound like the Shabbat we know and some people take the song personal but I, I think it's really something that is true. Them Nagi Shabbat props. 
Say. Most of the, the, the younger ones, they, they are called, if they not recognize or acknowledge what Shabba done. Shabba did the most for dance all general and music. Yes. Sean Paul Shaggy, Junior Gang, they did great for reggae and Jamaica music, too. but Shabba did for dance all the hardcore, the type of music that I particular does. Shabba did well for that. Say. Two Grammy back to back. And I don't see that happening in the future near right now. So we have to give the legend credit. And it's not just a song that Shaba is blazing killer. Because we're in New York this last weekend. And he performed? Yep. He, he, ran, he ran on the stage. People he, love to see Shaba. A cameo by him. No, because Shaba have an image, you know. You can't overlook Shaba. If yeah. you see that man, you have to look twice. That man look like a king, a leader, a legend. <laughs> So we always like to see Shaban Siege. I heard him, he, he did well in Miami too, and the best yes, of the best. Best of the best, he did well. This show, he was not booked on it. Okay, he uh, just during the prime man said Capitan just call him on. In fact, okay, that was, it was good. Totally unplanned. That's and nice. Just burst out and bridging the house was down. No, the legend is the legend. The okay. legend, the legend, as you say. <laughs> so, 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 Killa, wouldn't you agree that you are more productive when you're not so cross? Yeah, yeah, I'm more productive when I'm not so cross. But I'm more effective when I'm cross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I'm more productive when I'm, I'm calm and, and I'm thinking focused, you know. But it, it, it works in both ways. On stage, when I'm cross, yeah. they love it. But in the studio, when I'm calm and I'm thinking positive and focused, it's the best production we can have. Okay. All right, I must congratu con congratulate you, though, on the performance at Western Consciousness. Thanks. <laughs> that was Rodney Price in HD. for the first time. High definition. Not the first time? Rodney Price, not born to kill No, not the first time. I did it at, at, at East Fest a couple of years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Remember Morgan Heritage yes, concert? Yes. Yeah, we did that a couple of years ago. It's not the first, but this one was really outstanding. And tell you what, I want to do it again, because mm. people tend to forget that we did those type of good good music because you when you go dance all everybody just want the vibes you have to just go in and the hype song them but the quality music uh, it's in my catalog i got it okay yes i can perform to any audience all right um comment for me on the fallout between vibes cartel and corey todd and the exodus from the the, the empire well i guess if you have sense you just know some move time is the time Time and date is the thing, and tell you what now, if you build up your empire and disloyalty, it's going to fall. And we all know that Cartel is a very disloyal person, so it's inevitable. It was coming, but Corey is American, he, he don't even know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You understand? If you check from the guy who introduced me to Cartel, Ron Butler, you will find out that he's very disloyal. Roach, mm -hmm. the first road manager I appoint to him. Sharon Burke, Julian, Wayne Marshall, who sing the first hook and in a call can I? This is the new millennium and the same thing I go on. You hear him this way in Marshall. Mm. You understand? And it just goes on. So, we just wish them all the best, but God not sleep. In the life of the Alliance, how many members have you lost? One. And that one? The zombie. <laughs> From 2002, we only lost one member. And that's a great loss, and we love it. It's a, it's a beneficial loss. We, we like it. It's a benefit because, tell you what, picture cartel around us doing these things. No man can run, kill or do them something. Yeah? It, it does define to everything with walls, philosophy, with, with, with dignity, with pride, with moral. This no look good. The man look like a girl. Mm -hmm. I'm more than an Avina extension. <laughs> I want to make that clear. So, yes. All right, nobody around us have no extension. They must see a clip. Okay? You wouldn't allow that in their life. No. That everybody know. I don't really force things on people, but there is principle and you have to uphold our principle. Because if you're in an organization and you not pulling right, it, it will affect the organization. So those behaviors just couldn't be tolerated around us. And last night I met Corey Todd for the first in my life in the quad. Oh, you did? Yeah, I met him. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm having my party this weekend, this Sunday, at okay. the quad. Your birthday party. Yeah, and Corey Todd 
take over the quad and I haven't been there since because of the Zambia affiliation but because he cut it off okay I went and I take a look and it looked good the quad is all right the quad is nice it's gonna be a good so definitely look. this Sunday the killer in the quad is it open to everybody well it opened to a thousand dollar before 12 and <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, killer, man. All right, killer. Okay, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll make sure. I'm sure everybody here will be going out there, killer. But stay with us right here on stage when we come back. The next generation. Welcome back. Our guest is the warlord, Bounty Killer, surrounded by the Alliance's next generation, who we will meet right now, right here on stage. Killer, tell us about them. Yes. Bridging all the gap, and this is Marlon Bins. This is Nimrod, Patex, Ayara, Next Generation, Peace of the Alliance. And we'll hear from everyone right now yeah, in performance. Yeah, Take it away, Killer. Bridge. Take it away. Some set of applause and get pulled out. Yo, on stage. Yeah. Alliance got the one good foul out. Yeah. Rolling Alliance is a privilege.